Hey guys, KM here. Today's video is going to be about heroes and their special abilities and um, which heroes work well with each other and basically a brief overview of every epic hero and what they're specialized in and what they're good in and what type of uh, epic they are because there's many type of epic heroes. We're going to start off here with um, with Pangoli. The, as of right now, he is the best hero in the game, mainly because of his special attack, which is the, Rango, the Ragna Rocket. It launches a, a fireball and it deals uh, like a ridiculous amount of damage. Like my Pangoli in particular deals 25,000 in the first blow and then it does a total of I want to say 50,000 but at much higher levels it can deal quite a bit more um the pangoli is best in every single aspect of the game including I mean the, the, he, he shines in battle royale um raids arena everything and his aid skill endless fury um, if you use him as an aid uh, he, the hero becomes basically invincible like he cannot die that's what the little angel icon pops up uh, for a certain amount of seconds if you have it at 7 to 7 it's for 9 seconds which is pretty awesome we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna skip Chiron because uh, you guys already saw my video review well I hope you guys saw the review I made with him and I'm gonna go ahead and skip over to Pounder and he's he's the, one of the two heroes that has evolution on him and you guys know what evolution is on my previous uh, up update video about the evolutions and I give you a brief description about it and what it's all about uh, but he's an amazing tank even if he wasn't evolved he has a lot of health points and his attack is really nice uh, his mercenaries are ox he's good for uh, the front lines in a, in a arena battle or in a raid he can tank out some towers or something and a special attack, Skyfall, it goes and takes out a big group of uh, opponents in the arena or in raids, it takes down a distant building. Um, his aid skill isn't really that good, but I'm sure it could work, you know, if you don't have any other heroes to use as an aid, you can boost up a little bit of the heroes. Ox warriors by a certain percentage. All right, Abyss Demon. We're gonna go ahead and skip him. I already made a video about him in his review. So if you guys haven't seen the video, I highly suggest you guys go and check it out. I go way into depth about him and show tons of gameplay on and where he shines in every aspect. And I'm gonna come to Renny Ven, and Renny Ven's a really special hero. She is the only hero that can bring heroes back to life. And once it's level 20, I think it's uh, 60, it brings back the hero by 60 something percent or 59 percent, I'm not sure. But that's a lot of health. Like, and she is a ranged hero, so she attacks hero attacks from the back. So she's never really in like in danger until after your entire front lines are destroyed in arena battles and in raids she's good because she could destroy towers over um over the walls i'm gonna go ahead and talk about demon slayer now he is really good too um i used to use him a lot before i got renny ven and abyssal abyss demon um, he has quite a bit of HP. His devil, his devil's onslaught talent uh, deals uh, uh, quite a bit of damage 
to the opponents around. Um, I never really got around to leveling it up too much, but I'm sure at a much higher level it could be a lot deadlier than it is right now at level 4. <laughs> he, he uses Executioners, which is really good if you have a Dark Rider or a Blockhead. If you have a Blockhead or a Dark Rider, I suggest you get Demon Slayer on your team, buddy. Alright, and we have Blockhead. He is really good too. He complements a Demon Slayer and Dark Rider. And uh, he is a tank hero. He he tanks out. He sh he's a front line. He should be used in the front lines if you can in the in the arena battle. And in raids he can he could take quite a few like quite a few blows from the tower and still be okay. He increases the attack rate and speed by a certain percentage depending on the level. And as an aid skill, it increases his attack rate by a certain percentage too. Which is pretty good. Dark Rider. I was never really a fan of the Dark Rider, but he is a really good hero. I, I've faced quite a few opponents in the arena that have like level 150 Dark Riders. Um, they're, they're, his special, his main, the reason why he's so good is because of his, his talent or his hero skill, which is destruction halo. And that increases the attack of all the executioners on everyone's team, on, on your team. And it makes them kill a lot quicker and do overall a lot more damage. It's really good in Battle Royale if you want to focus on total damage output. Uh, we have another blockhead here. Okay. Skull Mage. He was actually my first epic. I really enjoyed him in the beginning of the game when I didn't have any other epics. He's a great hero to start out with, and I'm sure he's a great hero to, like, still use, even if you have, a like, my squad. I'm sure I'll eventually level him up and get him, you know, raise his ability a little bit higher, his hero skill. But if you have a full wizard team, and you use his source beam, it, it can be very deadly. I've encountered quite a few teams that use this and beat me so um he's definitely good him as an aid skill increases the hero's attack by a certain percentage depending on the level he has low hit points but he can attack over walls which makes it okay and he uses wizards and here we have savage chief he's a really cool hero too. I got him when I first started out the game. Now he has maxed out glory. Um, I am, I still have to get him up too as well. Um, the good thing about him is he has quite a bit of HP and he deals a significant amount of damage and his hero skill um, restores uh, he basically heals himself by a certain percentage depending on the level of the skill. I do recommend using him as um, a tank in the front as a front linesman if you do not have a pounder or a blockhead. He is a good a good substitution for those. So and he uses ox warriors similar to the pounder. And here we have Hydrosaur. He's a cool hero too. I used him when I first started out in the game. Um, he uses Colossodrac dragons. Uh, those are his mercenaries. They look really cool. As cool looking as this guy is, um, his main weakness in raids is air defense. That really destroys him and his dragons real quick. I found that out. Uh... But I have seen high levels, uh, high level Hydrosaurs in the arena. I believe a level 140 Hydrosaur 
just killed me not too long ago in the arena. Um, surprising enough, surprisingly enough. Um, if you have him, use him. He's very good in arena and in raids, depending if they have a lot of air defenses up or not. Uh, oops, another Pangoli. I use him as an aid. Here we have Glory Priestess. She's a uh, the first hero that one person can get. If they purchase any amount of gems, I believe you get her and like a Coral EXP egg or something like that. But she's an she's a cool first epic to start out with. Um she I never really used her but I've seen people have her at high levels and she heals quite a bit of uh, health points to and um, <clears throat> boost is up attack to a certain target and she increases the heroes uh, mercenaries by 2% the health points of heroes mercenaries by two percent um if you use her as an aid which is pretty cool which means that heroes mercenaries will have quite a bit more of health points um she's also a ranged hero which means she can hit over walls in raids Let's see what we have we got a air elite he or she is pretty cool um, because he ha he or, uh, they have a Colossal dra Dragons as mercenaries which if you have a Hydrosaur would complement the team really well and you can have a, a Colossal Drag team and really do quite a bit of damage with that in raids and um, in the arena. To a, to a certain extent um, but if you're just starting off in the game and you have an air elite and a hydrosaur use them eventually you will up you will have to upgrade and use ground heroes um but this air elite uh, uses missile volley it deals a certain amount of damage depending on the attack and it does quite a bit of damage I, it's been used against me and as an aid skill it restores I mean it increases the hero's health points by a certain percentage depending on this on the level I should level it up so it could have a lot more um, health points Mm, and here we have the second evolutionary hero which is blitz bomber he's favorited by quite a bit of people a lot of people still use him today and he, even though he's like the first legendary you can buy the cheapest one you can buy he does a significant amount of damage which is really cool um his special attack is nice but he has very low health points um, but if you uh, use the evolution on him you should add quite a bit of health points towards him I don't know I just never really got a chance to use him but I've seen him at much higher levels such as level 150 and uh, they've done quite a bit of damage against me and beat me in multiple occasions and as an aid skill it increases the attack of the deploy heroes mercenaries by 2% at level 1 if it was level 12 I'm sure it'd be much higher but it's a nice aid skill to have if you have leveled up his crazed barrage and he uses sharpshooters which go well with Chiron um, that's a brief review of all the epic heroes uh, I just wanted to you know let players know uh, how like how good like I just want to let players know 
a, a little bit about each particular epic hero so you guys can have a broader understanding of each hero <laughs> please like comment subscribe peace